Sri Ramanarayanam. I'm not really sure whether to call this as a temple or a miraculous architecture or theme park. So this is the ticket counter. Entrance ticket per head is 40 rupees. And there is a lot of open space for parking the vehicles. And they collect 20 rupees to park your vehicle over there. So there is ample space to accommodate hundreds of vehicles. As soon as we enter the main gate, they immediately we visit the Ganesha temple. Like any other temple complexes, the first god to welcome us all is Lord Ganesha. So just behind the Lord Ganesha's temple, there is Lord Shiva, Parvati, Nandi Hall. So it's a wonderful experience to see that immediately after Lord Ganesha, his parents. So this is the overall circular view for you to enjoy. Coming to the history of this construction, it was said that uh, this construction was inaugurated on 22nd of March 2014 on the auspicious occasion of Sri Ramanavami. Overall construction was built up in approximately 15 acres of area and the speciality of this architecture is from the aerial view this exactly looks like the targeted bow of a uh, Lord Sri Rama. There are two different platforms for us to enter the temple and exit the temple. This is the entrance path. So there is a wonderful arrangement. So during the daytime due to the extreme hot sunlight the marble flooring gets very much heated up and as we walk on the barefoot it hurts us. So the management has coated the cold cement the white marking is cold cement so that is the exact white mat on which we need to walk so that we don't even feel anything hotter so the first temple that we enter would be the Vishnu temple So we find one side uh, towards our left side would be Vishnu temple and the extreme right end would be Lord Sri Rama's temple. This symbolizes that Lord Vishnu incarnated as Lord Sri Rama. So there is a wonderful idea altogether to put forth in this construction. Now we are entering into the auditorium in which the molded sculptures which tells us his story the molded sculptures actually speaks to us visually. So every important event in Ramayana is depicted in pictorial, not just pictures, those are the sculptures, wall mount sculptures. So there are approximately 75 plus wall mounted sculptures which narrate the story. So to understand better, at the base of every sculpture the narration is provided in three languages Telugu, Hindi and English so it's an informative narration that every parent can take their children to this particular place and make them understand very easily what is Ramayana all about see so many pictures, sculptures speaking to us. It's a visual feast guys. These wall mounted sculptures are placed in two different auditoriums. In between the auditoriums we find the tallest approximately 60 feet taller Anjaneya statue. The standing Hanuman, the most stronger Hanuman 
is there exactly in between the two auditoriums so this is the point which exactly looks like the pointed arrow from the aerial view so now we are entering into the second auditorium which has got the wall mounted speaking idols or speaking sculptures so every picture every frame speaks the story of ramayana one cannot walk away without watching and feeling the and this is the idea of shri late narayana narsimha murthy garu who is the founder chairman of ncs group so his idea was brought into reality by his children and it is now run under the ncs charitable trust so at the end of everything the last frame talks about the founder of this particular ramanarayanam once we exit from there and now we enter into the lord sri rama temple which i told you in the beginning that uh, left of the premises would be vishnu temple and the extreme right side would be rama temple so now we are entering into lord sri rama temple in which rama lakshmana sita hanuma all four are placed in that and at the end of this there is something called sri rama stupam in which complete picture all all gods are placed in sri rama stupam hope you like this video please click on the like button share with your friends and family circles and make sure you visit this place at least once thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe